Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony G. Tony Green. I am Tony Green. Okay, so on Monday, I went to do my show and I could not get into Blog Talk. They were having technical difficulties. And so I decided to come on today and do a second show of the week because Monday's show was a full YouTube show. Oh my God, that was a full on hot. Whew. Just trying to keep up with the comments of everybody asking questions on um, YouTube and they come in um, kind of quickly and that was interesting to say the very least, but I like taking my callers. So if you are watching on YouTube, please call in um, 8945-845-8945. Two seven seven nine one three one, and I'll be happy to take you and um, answer your question or help you connect to a loved one uh, via the phone log. Okay, if you do have a question and you're watching on YouTube, you can put the question in the chat section, and I will try to get to you also. So. Um, my name is Tony Green, and I'm a psychic medium and a channel, and I am the author of seven books. This show will air on WSCS. It will air on um, Rude Rangers TV, Rudy Radio, um, <clears throat> and all the podcast stations. So if you're asking a question, please make sure your question is somewhat appropriate. I say somewhat because it's okay if it's a little inappropriate, <laughs> just not really inappropriate. <laughs> so, hey, Matthew, happy birthday yesterday. I hope you had an amazing birthday. Um, so, um Okay, since Matthew tapped in and his birthday was yesterday, we're going to do a special clearing to start off the show because I like to do clearings during the show. So Matthew, this is for you and your birthday. Um, all of our chakras are open, in alignment, and receiving. And I get a no on that. So we're going we're gonna to clear that. We're going to start clearing that. I'm happy you had a great bath, uh, birthday, Matthew. Um, so for those of you on the call log, um, here's what I'm going to tell you. When I call out your area code, please um, give me your name and your uh, where you're calling in from. And then have a question or a connection um that you would like to make and please uh, if you if you want me to help you connect with a loved one from the other side um give me their name and their um relationship to you just so i don't have to fish through the energy i don't do the tell me who's around me uh question because everybody pops in i start seeing everybody just everybody everybody it's a party i said monday on the show it's it's like a um it's like a college kegger party you pay your five dollars at the door and you come in and everybody's there but nobody knows each other except for nobody's paying five dollars at my door to get in ha 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 um so please have a question or a connection ready for me, please take your phone off of speaker when I say your area code because the background noise can be a bit much um, when we're doing this. Remember, it is being aired on several TV stations, so I'm trying to have the best audio possible. Okay, I'm gonna go to the first caller, and the first caller is 480. Hey, 480. Hi, this is Mike. Hey, Mike, where are you calling from today? I am in Arizona. Oh, perfect. 
Love Arizona. Been to Scottsdale yeah. a couple times. Uh, climbed Camelback and the other one. Don't remember what it is. Yeah, Camelback is amazing. Oh my gosh, yes. But you know, in all honesty, um, not when you're hungover early in the morning. Yeah, no. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> No, in my in my forties, I could go up one side, down the other, back up, and back down from where I started. But uh, yeah, that's 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 an hour of lunges uh, with that hike. That, that's absolutely a workout. Yeah. Oh my god, and it's beautiful when you get to the top. It's so worth it. Yeah. You're, so and, hey, listen, everybody, everybody who's watching, rewatching, listening, re-listening. If you get to Arizona, if you're around Scottsdale, absolutely. Get to Camelback. And I was, I'm going to tell you, Mike, I was so embarrassed at times because here I am, I'm going up and I'm, I'm struggling. I'm like <gasps> trying to breathe and little two year olds are like walking by me like, what, what's your problem? <laughs> Women in sandals. Um, in, like, I remember this Indian family, like India from India family passing me she was in her long dress and her sandals holding it up with one hand just like cruising right by me her little kids cruising right by me and all I could think is what is wrong with you these children are flying by you like nothing <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah no that's for sure I love I love that I love that place yes it's it's amazing it's just it's it is extremely beautiful a great place to visit and uh, if you can do camelback which apparently even two-year-olds can do it so yeah go do it you can do it it might just take you a little longer than the two-year-old but hey at least you did it that's all that counts you have to get if you get to the top who cares about anything else how many kids passed you exactly. on the way and, and even at christmas at Christmas time, somebody takes up a Christmas tree uh, up at the top, and then you take pictures with a Christmas tree at the top of Camelback Mountain. Stop it. Okay. That's my December yeah. agenda. Okay. <laughs> anybody listening that wants to go to Camelback with me in December, let me know. Let me know. Put it in the chat. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, Mike, uh, where, what, how can I help you today? What do you want to ask? What do you want to know? Who do you want to connect with? Yeah, so right now I'm, I'm thinking of a move. I mean, I love Arizona, um, as, you know, and so forth, but I'm just I'm missing water. Um, so I'm curious. I'm thinking either uh, I lived in California for a few years. I have really good friends in LA, um, and I'm thinking about just even my background is sales, but I've also been in the hospitality. So I'm thinking about just going uh, to LA, uh, wait tables and bartend, and then you know eventually connect into something uh, more professional. And then Florida's on the radar as well, or maybe I'm just staying pat here in in, in Arizona. Um, I've got a friend moving to Tucson, you know. So it's just one of those things where I'm just kind of looking for a change. And I was just kind of curious on, you know, where okay. that energy might be uh, uh, leaning towards. Because ultimately, I want, I want for the biggest opportunity to make the most money. While you know. Okay, so yeah. the first a, when you, you know, said like business wise and things like that. Yeah, uh, that's amazing, and I love when people aren't afraid to get up and go. Like we're put here to be free. We're put here to, um, to just like explore and if we're if we don't have like a, a family unit that keeps us planted someplace to be able to do that get up and go is amazing so what the first thing when you said i'm thinking of relo a relocation i heard do it just do it and then but before you said your places i was here in florida 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 now sometimes I, i'm a little partial to florida i really like florida for a lot of different reasons the second place i heard was texas now C california didn't really hit the radar as far as what i was hearing um but you do have friends there but the i think even though California has started reopening, I don't think there's as much, 
I, I, they're using the word prosperity, free prosperity going on there right now. Okay. So if you want to really do the best for yourself as far as uh, financially making that big hit, I hear Florida. Now being in sales, um, now Florida, obviously they're saying you're going to find things right away. You'll be able, depending on where you land, um, you'll be able to hit the ground running, okay? In Texas, some of what I'm hearing, and I have been to Texas, it was a, a long, long time ago. Um, what I'm hearing about Texas is um, you'll find work that will pay more and there, you know, there is the, what is it, the coast of Texas that you could be on. And I feel like, though, I feel the the position you would get in Texas would be a more serious position, a more, um, I don't know why I'm getting this, but um, like not high end, but a more serious sales position, like. I don't know, something they're showing me like the oil, like the things in the water that are the oil things in the water. God, I, I'm really showing my public school education right now. Um, the, the, you know, <laughs> I don't know what they're called. I'm so sorry, but I feel like it has something to do more with the sales um, in some way on that end of things. But there would be a lot of other opportunities, even if you didn't want that opportunity. Okay, now have, having said that, I'm going to tell you, either place you go, you will land very well as long as you hit the ground running. You can pre, uh, like pre-plan or pre-get there, pre, like before you get there, start, putting things out. And I feel like in a couple of places, you will already have something set up by the time you get there. Now, if you go to California, I hear it might be, even though you know people there and you have connections, I'm hearing it will be a little bit slow going, especially in the beginning. And it might be a, a just a touch of a struggle. Um, and here's, here's what I'm getting. But again, free will, free choice. You're going to be okay no matter where you go. What I'm getting is you want to land someplace where the money's been flowing for a minute. Okay? So California just started flowing their money, right? They just started reopening. Right. They just started everything. Florida's been open for a while. Texas has been open for a while. Um, so the money's a little bit more free flowing. People are a little bit more comfortable with what they're doing at this point there. They're not in that, is it safe mode? You know, so what I'm hearing is those are your yeah. two strongest places, even though you didn't put Texas on the table, they are. Um, and and the coast of Texas, I, I've not been to the coast of Texas, but I think it's it's really beautiful. Um, but if you're if whatever you decide, you're going to end up OK. Uh, one way is just going to take a little bit longer than the other way. It's just going to be a little bit more slow going than the other way. But you can't go wrong because you have this. Um, you have a uh, energy about you that is like, you know, you're just going to get up and go and you're going to make it work regardless of what's going on around you. You're going to find the right place at the right time and hit it. I feel like that's the energy that they're saying that you have. Um, but for the biggest bang for the buck, um, financially in a sales job, it would be Texas. For the biggest bang in the buck to have the most and you would have a lot of options in texas also um as far as uh anything that you do um and also florida it'll just take an extra minute in um it'll just take an extra minute if you decide to go back to 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, California, but it will eventually, yeah, yeah, it'll eventually, but it will eventually work out and it will all fall into place. Now, if you stay in Arizona, everything is going to be good. You're still going to um, be, be moving forward in the same way you have been. And there's going to be actually a um, upspring, an uplift within... Definitely within six months, but within a month and a half, I feel like something in Arizona will take off for you and you'll end up like bringing in a little bit extra. OK, so that's what they have for you, which is not it's not like that one solid answer, but that's because you're very versatile yeah. and you have a lot of things you can do and a lot of options on the table, which is really good for you. So no matter what you do and what direction you decide to go in, you're going to be a okay. It's going to work out perfectly for you. I hope this was helpful, even though well, I feel like they didn't really yeah, give no, you a solid answer. And, and, and I have thought about Texas, but I just didn't really think vocalize it out there as, a, as an option because I know it's, you know, Texas will, Texas is, a, even during the crash of 08, Texas economy was still going up when everybody else was, you know, 30, 40% decrease. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, Texas is a pretty much a no brain economy wise. Yeah. And I'm getting, even though Texas and Florida have been flooded with people coming from northern states down to the southern states, I'm getting there's still so much resilience and so many possibilities there. I'm getting that the the um when if you go to Texas and you land where there's and it, I think you're gonna know what this means old money. Um, you're gonna do really really well, really well. I mean, you might even be end up like if you don't do sales, you could end up in a country club where it's just stack on stack on stack. Um, very well, very good. Or no matter where you end up, it's just going to be good because they really they're very resilient and the money just keeps it just flows like the oil. That's what they're saying. Their money just flows like the oil down there. So, or over there, for me, it's kind of over there rather than down there. For you, it's over there also. So if you end up there, um, you can't go wrong. However, if you want to, if you just want to go back to someplace where you're familiar, someplace a little bit comfortable, you can go to California. If you do, don't get a place. I think you have to couch it at a friend's house for a bit because I don't, oh, that's okay. If you go back to California, no, no, no. It's funny that you say that because a friend of mine, she lives, um, she's an artist, and she lives in a meditation center in LA, and so it like rents like eight hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell you. So it's super cheap. If you go there, if you, I feel like, and I could be wrong, and there's free will and choice, and you're very resilient. Um, I feel like if you go back to California, you're not going to stay. It's just the yeah. statement I'm getting for you personally, it's not the same as it ever was. So you end up back yeah. there from nostalgia, but you get back there and you're like, holy guacamole, what the fudge sickles. Um, and you bounce. Yeah. You end up bouncing very quickly to a new location. So I would say your three strongest places, your three strongest choices are Florida, Arizona, or Texas. You'll really prosper in any of them. Um, so if you really want something new, new, brand new, and Texas has always felt like I wonder, you can try that or Florida, but if you stay where you are, I feel like in a month and a half, things are going to kick up speed where you are also. Awesome. Excellent. Awesome. Yeah, I, I, I align, I, I don't align, um, you know, politically at all with California, but 
I love the beach. So oh. I'm willing to do that yeah. thing. So, yeah. <laughs> if anybody aligns with California politically at this point, I really would be surprised. <laughs> I don't align with California politically at all either. I'm a... I shouldn't say it. I'll probably lose like 20 calls if I say my political views right now. <laughs> People think yeah, because I'm a psychic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. So before you, before I end the call with you, I'm going to do a clearing on, um, being stuck for you everybody listening everybody re-listening i'm gonna clear i'm gonna test we are stuck i get a yes let's clear that oh and this can be in any area of your life this can be like being stuck in finances being stuck in relationships being just stuck just getting to that next personal level for yourself getting to where you want to be personally like with working out body or whatever it is money um it's all of it it's running the gamut because i believe if we're stuck in one area there's a chance we're at least a little bit stuck in every area so we're clearing being stuck so the floodgates can open and we can move forward into the life that we want. And having said that, I'm going to say we're running forward with all that life has to offer. And I get a no. So we're going to clear that. Whew, that is a lot of energy coming out, folks. Uh, so when I do these clearings or healings, I also feel it. Um, and I always release through breath. So if I'm like, it's like me climbing camelback, like I can't get my breath again. <laughs> so there we go. Now, I did these clearings. If you're on YouTube, I did them right around the 20 minute mark. So you can go back to YouTube or move forward to YouTube right around that 20 minute mark and watch these clearings or get these clearings again and again. Sometimes some folks you get this you watch this once and it's good and you're solid and you don't need to get that clearing again other times um you know we're really really stuck we're deep rooted from something in childhood we we never know but um i always say it doesn't hurt to do it again it's not going to take anything good it's just going to take whatever's in the way and if you want to direct it to loved ones let's say we just know somebody who's having financial issues or is stuck we can say okay i'm gonna send this clearing to so and so so not only for yourself but for anybody also that you love you can direct any clearing on any of my shows to anybody you love. Remember, it's the angels, the Holy Spirit that goes in and takes out whatever is safe and comfortable for that person to, to, to let go of at that time. And having said that, let me add, if there's something we really, really, really believe we need because it's protecting us, um, it's going to take a couple more listens to let that go, okay? So I hope this was helpful for you. I hope it gave you some insights to a direction that you could go in or that would be good for you moving forward or opened a new a new um, pathway for you in some way, Mike. Awesome. Yeah, no, I, I, you know, again, it, it's definitely with either here or going east, so um, which is Texas and Florida. So, no, I appreciate it, you know, and again, it's just a matter of making the decision and, uh, you know, finding that position that I can just jump into and, like you said, you know, kick it, <laughs> get, yeah. it get it going. Hit the ground running, and I do feel like if you pre-plan, you're going to find some positions yep. before you even get there, you may be hired for something, especially if you're looking for that sales position that's a high payout position. I feel like it has something to do with oil and it's going to be in that Texas area. It'll be like a very high payout area for you. Okay. But you'll awesome. be good. No awesome. matter where you Thanks. land, you're going to do very well. Oh, like a cat always land on my feet. <laughs> Absolutely. And keep those nine lives in your pocket, right? <laughs> 
Exactly right. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Until next time. Um, but if you stay on, yes, I'm going to yes. be doing more clearings and healing. So you'll get the benefit of that also. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller. But before I go to the next caller, I'm going to switch over to YouTube. And I'm going to look at some of the questions on here. Oh, there's so many people coming in and saying hi. Hey, everybody. If I don't say your name, please don't um, be upset with me because it's going pretty quickly over here. So hi, um, everybody on uh... Oh, okay, so a lot of people want to know if they're going to get married. A lot of people. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, I have three elephants. So um, I think it's Sierra, Assyria, Sierra. Um, I, I'm horrible with names, but um, said she loves my elephant in the background. I have giraffes too. I'm a weirdo like that. But yeah, they're one of my favorite things. I would never, of all the things, I would get rid of my couch and my TV before I let my giraffes and elephants go. It's ridiculous okay so you want to know having a single happy marriage you want to know if you're going to get married once and if it's gonna if it's um gonna be happy um well the the answer i'm getting which is not the best answer is you take you wherever you go so no matter who you're with you'll be happy if you're a happy person you bring your perspective your your thoughts into it I feel like you are going to get married I feel like it is going to be a good marriage the happiness part depends on your expectations and your beliefs about marriage is what they're saying so let's um Let's, you know what I really want to clear is expectations um, because expectations will ruin things so quickly for anyone and everyone. If we have expectations of other people, um, we're never surprised. We're always in that place of feeling entitled or owed to and nobody can live up to our expectations we can't even live up to our own expectations so we have expectations of others I get a yes we're going to clear that and I also want to clear um because so many people for everybody on YouTube asking about marriage I'm gonna I'm gonna do a clearing for you um that uh, you're ready for a healthy, loving relationship. I get a no, so we're going to clear that. Because it's not, it's it's like everybody wants the marriage. Everybody wants that day, that big wedding day, that person. But we're, not, we're sometimes so caught up in wanting that, that, how do I say this? We're not... Um, We're not thinking about the person themselves, what we're trying to uh, bring in as far as a partner. And we're not thinking about really uh, if it's, it, it, uh, can I use my words instead of my sounds? <laughs> uh, we're not thinking about if we have uh, the right person coming in because we just want a person to come in and it's just as important to bring the right person in with the right energy and in some countries they still have arranged marriages that doesn't mean you can't put out into the universe that you want somebody who is a really good energetic and love match for you it's really important to focus on that as much as everything else. Um, everybody on Blog Talk, please stay on the line. If you're watching on WSCS, you can see the rest of this show on YouTube or Rude Rangers TV.